In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Limit Login Attempts Reloaded plugin in order to deter and reduce the likelihood of a brute force login attack working or successfully working for a hacker who's attacking your site. So this is going to help secure your site and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and foil these brute force attackers. I'll see you there. I've got the login page open in a different browser. And if I type in a username that I know exists, which is dev, and I type in a random password and click login, we have this message that appears up here that says, error, the password you entered for the username dev is incorrect. This is saying that dev exists as a user on the site, but the password's wrong. Now, if you're a hacker, you love to see that kind of message because you've confirmed that this user exists. Now, all you have to do is crack the password. To illustrate this example further, if we enter a username that doesn't exist and then click login, we get the error invalid username. So clearly, if a valid username is entered and the password is wrong, the site confirms that the username exists, which is bad for security. This plugin is also going to help alleviate that problem. So if we head back over to the dashboard, go to plugins and add new, we're going to look up limit login attempts reloaded. The one we want is in the top left here. It's actually the same plugin I made a tutorial for a few years ago, but what's changed is there's new developers. These guys are keeping it up to date. The old developers stopped keeping up to date. It was over two years out of date and it stopped working on some sites and it was just a bad scene. These guys took it over, renamed it by adding reloaded, but it's the same functionality. There are other plugins that have limit login attempts functionality. Feel free to try those out. I like this one because it's so simple. I'm going to click on install now to get started and then activate. Now the plugin is already working. Once it's installed, you don't have to do any settings. If we go back to our login page here, type in a random password for a known username. It says incorrect password or username. So immediately they take off that error message. So hackers don't know whether the username exists or not. So it keeps them guessing on both input fields, which makes it much harder for them to brute force into your account. Also a message here saying two attempts remaining. I'm going to show you where that comes from right now. If we head over to settings and then limit login attempts, we have the basic settings for the login. So under the lockout options, this is the most important area. Currently it's set to allow three retries. I've used one just now, so I have two left. If I fail to log in after the third try, I'm locked out for 20 minutes. If I do that process, do the three retries locked out for 20, three retries locked out for 20, if I do that four times, which is this number here, four lockouts. After that, my lockout time is 24 hours. And if I do not do anything, so I leave it right here at two attempts and I go away for this many hours, 12 in this case, my retries will be reset. So I'll be allowed to do three tries again in 12 hours. You can change all these numbers. You can have the allowed retries at 30, a one minute lockout, a 52 lockouts before the time increases to one hour. You can, you can set these however you want. These are just the default settings. On the notification area, you want to keep a lockout log so you can see who's being locked out. And the log shows up at the bottom here. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I like to be emailed after whatever number of lockouts I have here. So after someone has failed, tried and failed many, many times, I like to be notified of it so I can check in the log to see if I have to blacklist their IP, which we can do down here. We can blacklist their IP or IP range, one per line. We can blacklist usernames, one per line. The admin user I have in here because that's a very common username on old WordPress sites, but some WordPress sites are still that old, believe it or not. So if you have a WordPress site that's before 3.0, you probably have an admin user. Hackers know all about those admin users and that's one of the first users they try when they try to brute force a website because it's so common. Whitelist, you can whitelist your own IP or your IP range so you're never locked out. You can also whitelist your username. It's less secure to whitelist your username because if someone finds out what the username is, then all they have to do is crack the password. If you whitelist your IP, it's much harder to spoof your IP when trying to log in. So that's a much more secure thing to do than whitelisting your username. And that's all the settings for this plugin. Like I said, it's really simple. I'm gonna go out here and get this dev user locked out so we can see what information we're given after that. Okay, so now it says, too many failed login attempts. Please try again in 20 minutes. 
So this dev user is locked out now for 20 minutes. If we try it again, it's gonna be the same message. And if we try in five minutes, this will say 15, so it keeps counting down. Now, if we refresh this page, we're gonna see some information about some lockouts or that one lockout. We have one lockout since last reset. You can reset the counter anytime by clicking the reset counter button. At the very bottom, we have a log that says the date just now, this IP address, this username has been locked out once and they tried to log in through the main login page. And that's all the information you need. If you find that this IP is getting locked out a lot, I'd go ahead and copy this IP range and paste it in here. If this is a random username that doesn't actually exist on your site, you could copy it into the block username or the blacklist username field as well. But if this is a real username, for example, if it's your username that someone's trying to hack, just block the IPs because you don't want to blacklist yourself. So don't put your own username in the blacklist. Just blacklist the IPs they're trying to access through your username. So if this was a real user down here who was legitimate, who was maybe an author on your site or part of a membership site that got locked out because they forgot their password, you can just click the unlock button, which I'm going to click right now, to unlock them. Now if I go back out here, random password again, we see we have two attempts remaining. So what that did was it just reset our number of allowed tries to three, or reset all our counters basically, and unlock that username so we could try logging in with them again. So that's how we use the new Limit Login Attempts Reloaded plugin. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side over here so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.